When I'm flying around the track in the Red Bull Air Race, I'm flying between the air gates. And uh, the pilots themselves, they're made of lightweight material. And they're highly pressurized so that if I nick them with any part of my aircraft, they explode and basically evaporate so they won't grab my aircraft. It sounds like a shotgun going off when I uh, touch one of those things. I've had one pretty spectacular one in winter as well where it went straight through the propeller. Now, some of the gates are red. When I go through a uh, set of uh, red air gates, it means I've got to be knife edge either left or right. What I do for there is I raise the nose slightly, and then I roll to 90 degrees angle bank, and then roll to the next level flight again. That's how I get through that 10 meter gap. When I'm racing, I pull up to 12 times the force of gravity, which tries to force all the blood out of my head into my legs. I train for G-forces by doing a lot of exercise in the gym and building up the strength in my calf muscles, my thighs, and in my core strength, in my uh, abdomen and stomach. So that allows me to strain really hard, compress all of my muscles and stop the blood pooling down in my legs. The next thing I do is I just get out there and I pull a lot of G so that I get used to it. And the more G you pull, the better your body is at it. Quadro, or which is really two knife edges with a 270 degree turn in the middle. We're setting ourselves up, focus on, we go knife edge one way, and then go back the other way. really low level, going all the way around, and then knife edge the other way. That is the Quadro. When I'm on the racetrack, all I'm really thinking about is how I'm going to get to the next gate as quick as possible. I'm not noticing the crowd, I'm not noticing the skyline or the scenery, I'm not even thinking about how the race is going. I'm just purely thinking about the very next gate. When I'm flying on the track, personally, I think the biggest strength I, I have is the smoothness of my flying and, and uh, really probably being able to maintain a, a level of calmness under pressure. And that, that really all comes from my military training. I always love watching Paul Bonham fly. He is the smoothest guy on the track. It's like he's just waltzing his aircraft through a very intense course. I've got some training videos of his and tried to emulate it, and boy, I tell you what, it's much harder to do than he makes it look. And the start is really good at flying the uh, fastest line and flying it very aggressive. His all guns are blazing when he's in the track, and he doesn't let a bit of risk stop him from having a go. When Nicholas Ivanov is flying, it's always interesting to watch because if there's a tight line to be flown, he's the one that's going to fly it. I've seen Nicholas take his plane through gaps that I didn't 